The MLB draft is where dreams come true for budding baseball stars across the country and the world. A little closer to home, though, a few Purple Aces hope to hear their names called this Sunday as Colin Davies gives us a closer look. The MLB draft gets underway on Sunday. It's 20 rounds, and this year there's a couple Purple Aces that will look to start their journey in professional baseball. Shane Gray was the most recent ace taken back in 2022. Now Mark Schallenberger and Kip Fugers are among those waiting to hear their names called. Schallenberger says it means more to represent the purple and orange. I have identified myself with the school, and like I feel like wherever I go, like Evansville comes with me. Like It's a part of me. An NCAA tournament run put UE in front of national eyeballs, Fugers had five home runs in seven games on that stage. Fugers says that run changed his outlook on his draft stock. You know, I think if, you know, we get beat out there in the conference tournament, I'm not thinking about the draft at all. I'm thinking about what I have to do next year and the year after that and besides baseball. So, you know, I think uh, that run was just absolutely just a major help for me and for Mark and bunch of other of our guys you know players like Schallenberger and Futures have been getting ready for this moment their entire lives especially here at UE where they have a coach on the staff like Jamie Carroll who's played many years in the big leagues and now is passing on his knowledge to get them ready for their big moment and while the players feel prepared Mark Schallenberger says there's still a little bit of anxiousness going into the draft I mean I know that I have no control about it but I'm still gonna freak out about it like I'll know a ton of people that get drafted, so I'll get to be happy for them, and hopefully they get to be happy for me too. So we'll, we'll see. It's coming up quick. Now they'll wait and see if they're one of the over 600 players drafted by a major league team. Reporting in Evansville, I'm Colin Davies, Eyewitness News.